Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today I thought we would do something a little different. We're going to play a flash game. This is Colony, a real-time strategy game created by Kryn and hosted by Armor Games and Newgrounds. This February is actually the 8th anniversary of the release of Colony on Newgrounds, which is where I am playing this game today. So, let's just dive right in. Dear Captain Baylet, please report in to the town central base as soon as you receive this. There's been a problem with our communication lines. We can't seem to contact anyone outside of our own settlement. Captain Jameson is ill, so I need you to take over his post. I'll explain everything once you get here. Signed, Captain Joran. Mission 1, Blackout. We are playing as Baylet, a USC captain who has been summoned to take over the post of Captain Jameson. Tips. Press enter to chat to your ally. Toggle auto-build with the shift key. We are playing as capitalists this mission. Capitalists get resources from buildings 20% faster. Let's begin the mission. Hey, Baylet, it's me. Do you copy? I copy. That means yes. Good. Looks like our communication lines are still working. Again, I'm sorry for waking you up in the middle of the night. But there's been a situation. We lost contact with all the other settlements. Hmm. Like this one, for instance? It's probably nothing serious. In any case, I need you to send some men down to Bjorn's base and find out if the same things happen to them. First, raise an outpost. Way ahead of you. I'll have the outpost recruit some men for me, and I'm also going to build a hospital. Joran wants us to deploy some marines, so let's do that. I'm going to send two squads of five. Gather up, men. Hold position. These are marines, armed with rifles and anti-air rockets. Your basic boots on the ground. As you can see, deploying marines costs men. Different units use different resources, indicated toward the bottom of the screen. Only men and money are important in the first mission. Another thing you will notice about this strategy game is that it is played from a side-on perspective rather than a top-down perspective. Quite unusual for this genre. I'll deploy some Meditechs. And some additional Marines to watch the base while I'm gone. I should also build a bank which will automatically gather money for us. Alright. Advance! They're firing at us! Pull back! All stations, high alert. Prepare for retaliation. Oh boy, here we go. I don't know what happened. Could it be a base malfunction? No wait, detecting movement from inside their base. There's people behind this. Baylet, are you still there? Yes. Good. We have to send our attacks in waves. Indeed. We can't just send our forces at the enemy piecemeal and hope they'll accomplish anything. Luckily, I already know how to use the rally point. Oh, they're sending their androids after us. Well, I have Cronite tanks. Cronite tanks are heavily armored, but painfully slow. They can obliterate infantry, but are defenseless against air units. Tanks require manpower and money to deploy, so don't waste them. Uh-oh. Tanks are getting hammered by those scouts. That's what I have these guys for. 
Meditech's heal infantry and repair armored units. Very good to have. Where are you going? Stay behind the armored division. I want my tanks out front to absorb damage, while my infantry engage any air units that threaten the tanks. I should reinforce this group with more marines. Tanks will draw their defensive fire while the Marines storm the enemy base. Should be textbook. Look at those hit points drop. The game has ended. We are victorious. Well, that was a short first mission. Luckily, there are five more where that came from. Check out this artwork. It was made by Joan Casaramona. Strange art style. Pretty cool, though. Proceed. Tune in next time for the second episode, where we will get to see things from the perspective of the opposing faction. Until then, I am Mike the Reaper 86, this is Colony, and you all have a fantastic day. It's great to be back.